Hey guys, it's Jackie. I hope you're all doing well. So this is going to be a bonus video for you guys. I am going to film what I got for Christmas because I want to make sure I get this in for 2019. So I'm not carrying over videos into 2020. Crazy. And I'm also going to show you a couple of things that I got Joe because I think they're super cool. I'm not going to show you everything and one of my items I've already hung on my wall, but it is a gorgeous picture of London. So it's a gray and white with teal accents on it. I love that picture. It is ginormous. I put it over my fireplace and it's got a double decker bus in teal because, you know, they're normally red. But I love the color teal to decorate. The leaves on the tree are teal. And then there's like a man and a woman like with their arms around each other with a teal umbrella. Absolutely beautiful. Um, I love that picture and I'm not going to tell you all who gave me who, cause that's not what it's about. It's just about what I got for Christmas and by no means am I bragging. Um, and I might, I might forget some items that I have gotten or put away because it's been, it's been about five days since Christmas, but I want to show you a couple of things I got for Joe. <laughs> it's so funny. The first thing I got <laughs> was this pair of socks that say I love you and then <laughs> that's my face all over them. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I was so proud of these. I had seen this on Facebook <laughs> and um, we should do a thumbnail. Let's do a thumbnail. <laughs> it's like me doing a thumbnail. And so these were expensive, but I wanted to get them for him. And I was kind of mad. I didn't realize that they were going to be red. He doesn't wear a lot of red, but you guys, he loved them. So he was really excited about that gift. So I got those for him. And I also got him this. It's a Cardinal from Build-A-Bear. Um, I've talked a lot about this. Joe and I love Cardinals because we've both lost our moms and he's lost his dad. And so I got this. Um, it's from Build-A-Bear. And we like stuffed animals. I really don't care what other people have to say. And then he got me a Chewbacca from Build-A-Bear. This is so cool. Um, this Chewbacca is a little knapsack thing he doesn't open. But I think he looks like a Yorkie. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. And we got this from Build-A-Bear. We had taken my nephew and niece, one of two of them, down to Toledo where there's a Build-A-Bear. And they were buy one, I believe buy one, get one for $10. So I had gotten Chewbacca um, and then we had gotten them one. So we got those. And then, oh, Joe got me this mug from the, I think it was Disney, shopdisney.com. Oh, that reminds me. I wanted to show you one other thing. Hold, please. That was no time for you. So anyways, he got me this really awesome mug that has sketches all the way around it from Walt Disney. And it just talks about like exaggerated chest. The shape of the cheek depends entirely on the mood of the mouth. So it just got stuff on there from Walt Disney. He had got this from, I think it was Disney.com. And he also picked up this adorable salt and pepper shaker with Minnie and Mickey on there. So Minnie and Mickey are the salt and pepper shaker. And then there's a little Mickey Mouse snowflake. And these, it has a magnet on there. And so you can just put Minnie and Mickey back and they should stay put. I didn't put any salt and pepper in there yet. I like collecting salt and pepper shakers and what we've done, like different trips that we've taken, we'll pick up salt and pepper shakers from around the world where the places we've been or here in the States. So I thought that was so cool. And he, we, I love Mickey and Minnie. Then my precious, oh, I did say I wasn't gonna tell you. Okay, another gift that I got was Oh Christmas Tree. It's a candle. I have to tell you, this is from my niece, one of my nieces. Um, she said she saw it. She is seven. And she was like, I knew Aunt Jack, she needed to have this because I know you like candles. Adorable. Came from Target. It's um, from the line Opal House and it smells like a Christmas tree. So she got me that. And the London picture was from my brother-in-law, sister-in-law, and my nephew and niece. Then my stepmom got me this and I'm going to do a video, a dedicated video on this book. Um, I will not say the word because I do not swear on social media. I might say like AWS or, you know, little things like that might slip out, but 
I will not be saying this word, but it's the subtle art of not giving a, and then you fill in the blank. Um, this was written by a man, Mark Manson. I'm in the ch third chapter and I cannot believe how much this book has changed my life already. That's part of a, a video that I'll talk about, you know, for, I'll do a whole dedicated video once I read this book all the way through. Um, and then one of you guys who I've become friends with sent me this and you guys, it is a book sleeve and it is our friend Olaf. So it's handmade. And what I thought was so cool is that, and I reached out to her and, you know, thanked her for this. It just means so much. And I keep my book in here. And so you literally can just put it in there and carry your book. So your book would be protected. Like I like my stuff to stay nice. And um, I reached out to her and I thanked her and I said, my mom used to make me homemade gifts for Christmas because she didn't have a lot of money. And those are the ones that meant the most in life. And so when I got this, it just really resonated with me. And plus, it's Olaf sitting on books and all of the parents in my life like to read. So it's just, it was so special. And she knows who she is. And thank you so much. I already reached out and thanked her. Then my dad, being the little smarty that he is, not really, he wanted to get me this. Um, I did a video a while back on a bird clock, and my dad wanted to also buy me a bird clock. So I got one from the original inventor of the bird clock, and then my dad said he wanted to buy me one too. So he had gotten me this, and I was like, oh my gosh, dad, you are so silly. I am going to hang it up. I got to get the batteries in there. I'm going to hang it up here in this room. Because I don't need to be here and twerping all night long. Tweeting, twerping. Then my sister got me this. And it says, I wish heaven had visiting hours. So pretty. I was like so excited. And I'm going to have a hard time lifting this. But I want to show you guys something that I got Joe. I'm so excited about it. It is a Chewbacca Instapot. <laughs> ah. We love it. It's eight quarts. It is ginormous. It's got Chewbacca on the front. I am so excited. He is so excited. It literally just came today because I was watching the price drop. I originally heard that these were like $200. I already have an Instapot. So I was like, can't justify buying another one. But then I saw this and I was like, oh my God, we saw it in person. And he was like, oh, that is so cool. And I was like, yeah, but not for $200. Then I saw they were like 119 and then it went down to 82 with a percentage off. So I was like, deal, one of your gifts isn't coming on time. And then my sister, Jessie, also got me this basket with a bike on the front. I don't know how I'm going to use this yet. And it's got this really cool strap on it. Um, so I got to figure out where I'm going to put that because I really like it. She also got me a mini waffle maker, which I was so excited about. It literally makes a little mini waffles. Um, I like miniatures. My mom always collect miniatures. Um, and then I guess I'm showing you some of Joe's gifts too. My same niece that bought me the candle, she bought this for Uncle Joe. It's animals are people too. And so it's a whole book about that. And she was so proud of herself. Like defiance. Here's a bald eagle in defiance. So he got that. Then Jesse also got me this book by Shinoya. Shinoya. It's a watchmaker in Detroit. It says, I only hope that we never lose sight of one thing that we it all that it was all started by a mouse. And so it's a Mickey Mouse notebook. And what's really super cool is down here, I don't know, it's gonna be hard to see. At the bottom is a drawing on each page. And so like if you flip the pages, it looks like Mickey is moving around. So cool. So I like to collect journals and notebooks. And then my other little niecey poo, she got me these comfy socks. They have like a fleece lining. They got the little rubber grippers on the bottom. So she got me those. And then I also got this amazing misting fan. So you put batteries in here and you can put water in the bottom and it's a frozen Olaf. So Olaf and his little friends and you put the water in there, you put the batteries and then um, you can literally like mist yourself like if it's really super hot. I was so excited about this. I don't know where she found this. She always finds everything in the coolest places. So 
I think, oh, I have a couple more things. Let me just put these back. Um, my other gifts came in the mail today. Oh, and Joe also got a Kuna Matata t-shirt. You know, everybody in our life knows that we are huge Disney fans. I think that was all of that here. I'm just trying to put my stuff back. And then I got from Joe, um, I don't know if you guys have ever noticed in my videos, but I wear a lot of Alex and Ani. I have a ton of Alex and Ani, to be honest. Um, but I love them and I love the meaning. I like how the creator, you know, just the, I don't know, sometimes things can be spiritual and it can be to like connect you to things in your life. Like the ones I wear the most is Godmother. I am the godmother to my sister's girls, um, the seven-year-olds. And then when we were in Disney, you know, I got my ears. And then my favorite dessert in Disney is this ice cream. Um, and so I, you'll see I wear Alex and Annie. Sometimes I'll wear up to 11 or 13 and I always wear them in odd numbers. Trust me when I say I'm weird, okay? Um, but I got from Joe, I got this gun metal cross. And it just says cross on the back, which I thought was really funny because... I think you know it's a cross, right? So I got this one. So let me just put them back on. And then this one I was so excited about. And it is from A Christmas Story. And I think I told you guys that is my all-time favorite Christmas movie. This year, I think I watched it three times through. And then I listened to it on Christmas Day over at my family's house. But it is Ralphie in the bunny outfit. I don't know if this is going to focus. So he's in the bunny outfit and it's also his glasses. Like you'll shoot your eye out and it, in the one eye frame, you could see it's like a crack in it. So I did just get these. Um, Joe bought them for me. I was really excited. I missed out on the lamp. I wanted to get that one from Alex and Ani. And by the time I remembered it, cause Joe was like, well, just order it if you want it. It was already sold out. So I have to watch for that one again, or I could probably go on eBay and find it. But anyways, I just wanted to share a few things that I got for Christmas. I am super blessed. By no means am I bragging. I just wanted to show you guys. And I had said it a couple times and you were all like, yeah, show us what you got. And I showed you the candles already that I had gotten. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you enjoyed this bonus video and I will talk to you soon. Bye.